And what biocomposites do, they add this additional benefit of the bio-based uh, uh, sources to that. So you keep all the benefits of composite materials and you have the additional uh, value of being bio-based, so therefore fully renewable. Climate protection and circular economy are becoming increasingly important for the building and construction industry. Load-bearing structures offer high potential in this respect, especially if they are made of renewable materials. And there's a an highly innovative EU project. Three bridges made of biocomposites are currently planned and built. One of the certain partners in this project is Fibercore, and Fibercore has a lot of experience with fiber-reinforced polymer bridges. They have built around 1,000 bridges so far. Today, I'm talking to Martijn Feldkamp, a concept engineer at Fabrica Europe. Hello, Martijn. Hi. Just tell me, what is the core business of Fibercore? At Fibercore, we built uh, panels of fiber reinforced polymers. And those panels, they are strong, they are lightweight, they're robust. But you can basically use them for anything. So you can build them uh, like a bridge to become a bridge. Yeah? The bridge is a panel. You can build a lock gate uh, in the water. But you can also make uh, airplane wings or uh, rotor blades for wind turbines or um, yeah, even parts of ships. Um, it's all possible anywhere where you need lightweight uh, structures. And what are you doing, the Smart Circular Bridge project? We are the builder, but as the builders, we also collaborate with the designers to make sure that whatever the designers design is also actually buildable. So the bridge is using flex fibers, and those flex fibers, they come as a fabric, so they need to be cut into shape, they need to be curved, they need to be folded, they need to be yeah, put into that structure. So we provide feedback, uh, think along with the designers to make sure that the design is actually buildable. And what is the added value of using biocomposite materials in bridges? Composite structures in bridges have the advantage of being lightweight and have a long uh, design life, so with requiring very little maintenance, and of course they're strong. And what bio-based materials adds to that is that they're also bio-based, so they're not using fossil sources. Uh, so in this case, the fibers they were plants, so they are renewable, so they would grow again. Uh, and also the resin used in this bridge uh, is partially bio-based. So it's, that also is made from plant waste, so it would also grow again uh, and would replace uh, fossil sources. So what do you expect will be the role of biocomposites in the construction industry in the coming years? Composites is already growing uh, in the civil engineering sector and in other sectors because it is a lightweight material that is strong. Um, and well, making things more lightweight means that you need less energy to, uh, to move them. So lighter cars, lighter airplanes, but also lighter bridges because they require less foundations. Then what biocomposites do, they add this additional benefit of the bio-based uh, uh, sources to that. So you keep all the benefits of composite materials and you have the additional uh, value of being bio-based, so therefore fully renewable. And what is your motivation being part of the Smart Circular Bridge project? As a company, we want to be part of this uh, greening the industry. Uh, we want to show, we want to demonstrate, and we want to convince our clients, uh, just as we convinced our clients that you can actually build bridges uh, with composite materials. We also want to convince them and show them and well, here's the proof that you can build uh, bio-based uh, bridges for the future. Thank you, Martin, for these insights. And have a good day. Great. Thank you, Martin. See you in Rotterdam.